जब हिजाबे पर दाए गए बतू ठाया जाएगा एक दिन वो आएगा एम बी ए इन मार्केटिंग करंटली वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट मैनेजर इन सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट हैज टेन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन रिटेल ऑपरेशन हिस्स टॉपिक the journey of my community towards imam mahdi alaihi salam we shall be speaking in english i'd like to welcome on stage janab ali akbar vora sahab auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim allahumma kull waliyyaka al hujjat ibn al hasan salawatuka alayhi wa ala abai fi hadha is saati wa fi kull saa وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه ارزقا توا وتمتعه فيها تبيلا ربي صل على محمد وال محمد واجل فرجهم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته in this 12 minutes given to me to speak about امام الزمان علیہ السلام the 12 امامز I would like to share a very interesting story. It's about the journey of my community towards the right path. We were originally Boras in faith, believing in 21 imams, and our journey towards the faith, right faith of 12 imam, was not possible without the help and guidance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and His last hujjat. Exceeding thanks to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. who has bestowed lowly servant like us with his love and his love of ahl bayt alaihim salam and made us take birth in the family wherein we were additionally getting religious information and religious knowledge also here i would like to enlighten my point with the verse of holy quran bismillahir rahmanir rahim laqad anzalna ayatim mubayyanat والله يهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم ان سوره نور ايت نمبر 46 الله سبحانه وتعالى says and we have certainly sent down distinct verses and allah guides whom he wills to the right path as for this verse of holy quran we feel that we are the fortunate ones that we have received the guidance and help of allah subhanahu wa taala and this guidance was achieved by the hadith of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam the hadith says holy prophet says that after me there will be 73 sect in the muslim community all would be destroyed except one only one would receive the salvation when the elders of our community came across this hadith they question themselves do we belong to that community which would receive the salvation or we are from the deviated ones as for life there is no guarantee when one would die one should if one dies on the deviated sack his his uh, destination is hell so it is very important for a person to identify on follow that sect for which holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has given glad tidings this journey of uh, salvation this journey of right two path was achieved by the sincere efforts of our elders of the community and they have done a great research on that yeah i would like to quote how the how our community elders gave up the religion of their forefathers and they were attracted to the belief of ahl bayt alaihi salam it all began when they attended the muharram majlis of mahfil e shah e qurashan and kesar bagh in dungri where the knowledgeable maulanas and learned scholars like maulana gulam askari sahab and maulana abbas rizvi sahab were quoting were reciting majlis may allah be pleased with them their majlises were very informative in the lights of holy quran and traditions and uh, they were quoting hadiths from the ahlul bayt alaihi salam 
as their uh, uh, majlises were very informative, there was no that kind of religious in, uh, information in our community. And there were no religious books to refer to gain information. A basic book of Ahkam was also not available. Whatever religious questions were raised in the minds of, the, of, of our elders, they were getting the answers in the majlis they were attending by the learned Maulanas. So, we can see that the thirst of knowledge is satiated at the doors of Ahlul Bayt salam. In the matter of 12 Imams, I have done my own research and I have found 10 references from the most renowned and most authentic book of al Sunnah, that is the Shia Sitta. We speaks about the 12 Imams and he, it says that the religion will remain till the 12 Imams are there. So, it is not peculiar that it, it's only the belief of Shia Ishnashri of 12 Imams. It is belief of all Muslims, which made us think from where we have got 21 Imams. One such hadith I would like to quote of Holy Prophet regarding the 12 Imams. Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa says, Allahumma swalli ala that after me there will be 12 successors and they would be the Imams of my Ummah. My Lagiti and, my Kali and the Caliph of Allah would all be from Quraysh. The first of whom would be Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, Allahumma salam. The second and third would be his son Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain salam. And nine Imams would be from the progeny of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. The last, the twelfth would be Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, Jallahu ta'ala Farajahu Sharif, who would have a very prolonged occultation and would reappear on the commandment of Allah subhanahu ta'ala at the last stage. He would rule the entire world and would fill the earth with justice and equality as it would be filled with injustice and tyranny. After knowing such truth and clear proof, there was no looking behind. We decided to give up the religion of our forefathers and accept the religion of our Shia Ishnashri 12 Imams. As accepting a new religion, a converting to a new religion was a not an easy task, as there were many obstacles also. As not only there were new things to observe and learn, there were uh, obstacles from the close relatives and friends. It all needed a lot of patience and seeking uh, help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that keep us on the right path. Here I am just recollecting one of the incidents I would like to quote here. That once an elderly relative of us came to my uncle and he asked him, Son, how many Imams do we Boras have? He said, we have 21 Imams. Then he asked, how many Imams do Shia Ishnashris has? My uncle replied, 12 Imams. To which he replied, is it not better to have more than less? To which my uncle replied promptly that you cannot apply the less and more criteria everywhere. It is okay to fast more, to pray more and to do more good actions. But if you leave one God if, and if you believe in more gods, it would be sin and polytheism. So, uh, it's, and again, apart from that, you must only pray that much obligatory prayers which is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His divine appointed caliphs. Any addition in the deen, any addition in the religion would be disbelief and polytheism. So eventually, he was convinced by that. Another such obstacle was that there was a false allegations on us, accusation on us, that we have deviated from the path. And this false accusation was spread in all the religious gatherings, mosques and even in the residential areas. My community wanted to meet them and wanted to clarify all these false accusations. And they decided a date and a venue and they met them 
and alhamdulillah they convince them that we are on the right path believing in 12 imams which lead to imam zaman alayhi salam salam so this kind of obstacles we had faced and today in, alhamdulillah that that uh, allegations and when we have convinced lots of people there that resulted lots of people coming coming to convert in the bora shishnashri jamaat today alhamdulillah we have lots of member in the bori shishnashri jamaat and uh, our jamaat is situated in mumbai and many more cities we pray to allah subhanahu wa taala that keep us on the right path till the end of our life and also give taufik to people like us who are the seeker of truth they they come to the right path inshallah taala alhamdulillah rabbil alamin ya allah ya rahman ya rahim ya mukallab al qulub sabbit qalbi ala dinik ilahi ilahi bi rahmatika ya ar rahman rahimin allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ali muhammad thank you very much thank you for your wonderful speech I'd like to honor you with a little token of appreciation from 12 talks. Allahumma salli ala. Thank you. Truly inspiring words by Janab Ali Akbar Vora Saab as he described how a section of a particular community took the step towards the right path. We pray to Almighty Allah to help them remain steadfast in their beliefs and faith. صدق الله العلي العظيم